Now, three adjectives that describe our next guests are happy, funny, and bubbly, and so many more, but I think you know who I'm talking about. They are the voices behind Hallmark Channel's official podcast, Bubbly Sesh. Please welcome back our good friends, the bubbliest girls I know, Jackson Shaw. Welcome back, ladies and So excited to have you. I mean, huge fan. We're all huge fans of your work. We really are. We love what you do. We love your recaps. We, we, we went over last time you were here how Bubbly Sesh came to be. But you know what we didn't go over is how your nicknames came oh. to be. How did Jax and Shawl become your monikers? Well, so I was nicknamed Jax in college. But then when oh. I moved to New York City, no one ever called me that until this gal. <laughs> <laughs> thought of the idea for the podcast and said, I think it'd be cool if we had nicknames. Would I be able to call you Jax? I said, yes, th this this is so harmonious. Everyone called me Jax in college. It was meant to be. It was meant to yeah. be. And, you know, my whole family has always called me Shawl and all my friends. And so I just thought the Jax and Shawl, like, rhythmically worked. And, I mean, she's a Jax to me, you know? Right. Like, it's so, so it just, it works together, I think, really well. Your full name is? Shalini. Shalini, which like is? Like Colony. Shalini, so, like, huh, did you yeah. say that your whole life growing yep, up? Yep, that's right. Yeah. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. So you are, you know, you're the voice for all of the Hallmarkies out there. We have we have such amazing fans here at Hallmark Channel with the Hardys and and the Chessies. Postable. Yeah, the Postable. The Seshers now. The, which are your guys. That's what I was going to say. You know, you were huge, massive Hallmark fans before, but now you have your own fan base. What does that feel like? It's just, exciting, right? It's just so, I, I mean, honestly, like, from being a fan before, it's just a sense of community, and now it, it just feels like all of our friends are sort of supporting us in this, and we've had so many messages, so many comments of just supporting us and cheering us on that it just, it's just so nice. Yeah. Best group of fans ever are Hallmarkies, right. honestly. I mean, truly, it's the best way to stay connected because now we've just made our community a little bit bigger, so yeah. we're so grateful to be a part of the Hallmark Channel family. And I love that they, they're called the Seshers. I like the bubblers too. That would work, yeah. right? Bubblers, bubblers. Yeah. Bubblers. Or bubblies. Somebody said bubblies too. The bubblies. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. 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 We can do it all. <laughs> so, you know, well before the podcast, the two of you have been big Hallmark fans. Mm -hmm. I know that you used to um, you really bonded with your mom and your sister yeah. watching Hallmark movies growing yeah. up. Isn't that true, Jack? Yeah, we watched them all growing up. Our first and favorite was My Sister's Keeper, which was such... We both love Hallmark Hall of Fame movies, and it's something that my whole family... Even now, my dad and my brother are into it, which is pretty amazing. Isn't it so funny? I know. How bad, <laughs> you get the men, it'll be so funny. This is a really good movie. Exactly. Like, I'm feeling all the feelings right now. This is great. It's so true. Yeah. yeah. It's really remarkable that... You can connect with family and friends who don't usually like the same content. Hallmark is a place where everyone can go to feel good. It's so true. I'm telling you, I, I say all the time, I'm walking through airports and the people that would be the non, the most non-likely Hallmark fan will stop right. me and say, oh my gosh, I'm a family. I'm like, oh, thank you. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, you watch? I love it. It's so exciting. And you as well, Shaw. I know that you watched when you were younger, but you really reconnected with Hallmark and all of our movies when you became a mom. Yeah, I did. I mean, you, you know that's such a special time in your life. And um, I was home with my daughter a lot, and it was just such a nice thing to have on in the house because, one, it's super kid-friendly, so that's always nice. Like anytime she would get up from nap or anything, I knew I never had to worry about anything that was on the screen. And and you know, mothering can be tough and it can that's be challenging. Right. And so it was a nice escape for me to just right. like chill out with my glass of bubbly at night and go. escape into you know wherever they're going to take me, whatever romance mm -hmm. or the mysteries too. Now she's right. got me into the mysteries. Well, I was going to say too. you weren't originally a mystery girl, but Jax no. really brought you on board. As a matter of fact, you're now calling her Sherlock Shaw. <laughs> Sherlock Shaw. <laughs> I'm on the case. Now. <laughs> I'm hot on the case right now. You, even, you uh, your catchphrase, keep sleuthing. Keep sleuthing. Yeah, she's um, doing really well. It. Yeah. I, I know it all, you guys. Yeah. I know it all. Hire me right now. I'm ready to just, just Hallmark private eye. Mysteries. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's private eye. That's right. And you you call her the mystery, mystery maven. maven. She's mystery maven. Yeah. Because yeah. she she really knows it all. She always she always knows who who did it. You always do, uh, really. like, Except sometimes Hallmark tricks me and I love I I love I'm so <laughs> delighted and thrilled when they trick me. Isn't that the best? <laughs> yeah. Their movies are so good. The Hallmark 
movies are so good because in terms of the mysteries, I can't watch a lot of stuff on TV because it's too violent, but I need right. my fix. I know, listen, I'm a mystery girl too. I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. And if it's too violent, then I can't sleep at night. Exactly. But yeah. I need to be able to solve it. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. makes it so much fun. All right, well listen, Mystery Maven, Maven and Sherlock Shaw, it is not your job to watch these movies. Ooh. So I'm gonna put you two to a little bit of a test. You ready for this? Oh. Oh, uh -oh. So, I'm going to give you some titles okay. of um, like pop the quiz. new... I know. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm doing it to you now. now you know I know, we did what it to I you, Debbie. Like. Exactly. No, yeah, we're not. See. So, I am going to read some titles of the new Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, which, of course, stars our very good friend Candace Cameron Bure That's and Mary Lou Henner. I'm going to read two titles. You're going to tell me which one is the real title. You think you can do I this, Sherlock Oh, yeah. Oh, I... Keep sleuthing. I got this. <laughs> By the way, the new Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries are airing all month long, so you guys can catch them. All right, so here we go. Here's the first one. The poster will come up. It is we got this. a bone to pick or the calm before the storm. We know this we one. We know this one. You want to say it? Go. A bone to pick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good job. All right, so yeah. far, so good. <laughs> Look at that. You're sleuthing. sleuthing. Number two, sealed with a kiss or dead over heels? Oh, Dead Over Heels. Isn't that the greatest name ever, by yeah, the way? When it really Mary Lou Henner was here, I was dying. Really I'm is. like, Dead Over Heels is hysterical. <laughs> Whoever comes up with these names, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, good, great. great job. Uh, number three, Till Death Do Us Part or Reap What You Sow. Oh, we know this one too. Okay. Reap What You Sow. Yes. Well so done. Good. I was stumped on that one. I that one is tricky. Well, because the other one sounds like it would be a good title, too. Right. Maybe it's in development. It is, actually. <laughs> we, we could write it. It's right here. Let's do it. We have a script. <laughs> um, all right, number three. An inheritance to die for or third time's the charm. An inheritance to die for. Another great one. Another great one. Well you got to say it like that, too. You know? All right, girls. <laughs> because Debbie, you're good. Su such a fantastic <gasps> song. <laughs> we here at Home and Family thought it would only be appropriate to give our bubbly sesh girls uh, a champagne chiller. Oh my goodness. With Home and Family and your names engraved on the glasses. This is for you. Thank you, Debbie. You Thank were you, very everybody. Welcome. This is so nice. Everyone? You were welcome. The only thing missing is the champagne. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay. It's early. Well, we didn't have to wake it up. We're working it. <laughs> So. Thank you so much, and thank you for everything you're doing. We really are such big fans of yours. Keep up the good work. We love you thank both you, so much. We love you guys. Thank you, Debbie. And thank you. We'd like to remind everyone at home that Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries and Inheritance to Die For premieres this Sunday, and make sure to tune into Jackson Shaw's recap on a brand new Bubbly Sesh episode available Monday wherever podcasts are available. We'll be right back.